Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 2nd, 2021. So what are we focusing on today? What is the angelic message? Let's get right into it. Pay attention. All of these daily card readings are going to get more and more intense because we need to get focused. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to be going into. And also I let the capuchons just sort of land wherever they want to. I mean, might cover up some of the words, but I read them to you, so it's fine. All right, so let's get into it here. We have Golden Healer Quartz, Open the Door, Labradorite, See the Magic. Labradorite's all about your intuition, okay? So remember how we were saying, break away from the thought grid? There's a lot of healing to be done around that. And what this is going to do, when we tap, now when we say see the magic, we're not talking about kidding yourself, spiritual pretend powers, you know, that stuff where everyone thinks that, you know, they're, they're tapping into some sort of field when they're not. Uh, it's just they're playing with the power of the mind. The mind is a powerful manifester. However, if you're just manifesting from the third eye and you're not connecting into the heart, you're not connecting into your expanded consciousness, you're not even in your light body, you don't, there's no awareness around that. If you're coming from that closed off place, well, now you're going to be manifesting things that make you feel really powerful, but they have no substance. They have no groundedness. They're not anchored. But it gets weirder than that because not only will that thing that you manifested potentially go away, but it's going to cause problems too. Why? If you want to see it is you made a wrinkle in the process <laughs> or... It could be that you're trying to manifest. That's why I say don't manifest a specific person. And it's really disappointing. There are some people out there that I really love following. And then I see them pop up a, a video that says, manifest that specific person. Bye. Okay. No. Now I have to go because we can't be feeding into that. And don't you feed into it either. Right? Now, figure out where you need to heal. The door is open for your healing. And so many of us are so afraid of it, and I get it. But it's going to be through that healing and that release that we <laughs> get to have freedom. We get to get back to who we really are. We get to recreate ourselves, maybe based on the original model, that innocence model, right? But still, if you learn how to tune into your intuition and you walk through that open door, and that open door will look Maybe a little different for everybody, depending on where you are in your soul's path. You don't need to be afraid. So today's focus is witnessing this. Witnessing where you need to unplug. Where have you maybe manifested from a shallow place? I'm afraid. I need to manifest money. Well, you'll get money. But guess what? You'll have to do that same bit of manifestation next month for next month's rent. Why? Because you're manifesting money, which is not a bad thing. But what you could be plugging into is infinite abundance, happiness, joy, raising that frequency. And now everything just kind of flows in your life. You don't need to be afraid. All right. Let's see what the cabochons are. Archangel Shamuel, known as the Archangel of Love. But here... And yeah, it could be in love too. But this is about fulfilling your potential. Understanding who you truly are. Ariel, your passion, your courage, your wisdom. Getting in touch with that today. Understanding that. Giving it some weight in your life. Not just glazing past it. And not just staying on the surface of what your title is, where you live, what kind of car you drive. Okay? Not your status. Nobody cares. Like, seriously, nobody cares, okay? <laughs> so you can let that one go. What is your true potential and where can you come from a space of love? And I would even dare say this is manifesting, you know, Shamuel showing up, showing that we can manifest from a state of love. So we have time, truth, mm -hmm. protection. Okay, I can get this. Speak, speak truth, and code. So the code activation, again, is the ascension process. And that's the time that we're in. We are being protected, though. If you're hearing this message, you are protected in your spiritual growth. We're sending that out for you. The angelic team is on it. Take it in. Breathe it in. Okay. 
truth. They're drawing me right to the truth. <laughs> truth and Archangel Uriel. So this is the truth of your passion. This is the truth of what you really want to do. And please, again, don't self-sabotage by going so much into the mind. What it's supposed to look like. Right? Bring your whole being into it. Now, as we're talking about manifesting and talking about things like manifesting money, for example, I'm hearing, Arch actually, Archangel Michael is coming in here and he's saying that sometimes as, as humans go through the process, we don't immediately align. Like we get an idea of something that, you know, that's the direction I want to go in. That's how I want to live my existence. But we don't immediately align with that. So there could be this feeling of disconnect between like what you're actually doing and some bit of profit, if you want to see it that way, or something where it's coming through and helping you to, to survive off of that. Okay. So what's the remedy around that? I'm just asking here. Let's see what the answer is. Give yourself a chance. Here you go. To activate and to catch up with yourself, basically. Yes. And they're saying that people's egos get in the way too because they're fearful of not doing something correctly or, you know, not looking a certain way out in the world. I can tell you right now, being a YouTuber since 2013, YouTube has changed so much. At first, it was just sort of a supplement to my business. Now it is my business. <laughs> it turned into, you know, a full on entrepreneurial kind of, you know, endeavor. So I know that when I was getting out there, I was afraid to make certain content. Um, I was afraid to disappoint my audience. I was afraid I wasn't providing enough, like enough value for my audience. And that fear has held me up. It has held me up. I've seen other people out there who are doing great. <laughs> they're really, you know, they're flourishing. And how are they flourishing? They're showing up with joy and love and doing their thing. It's probably digital marketing too, but <laughs> the way they translate on camera is gorgeous and beautiful. And they're just doing what they want to do. Yes. So that's, you know, that's a truth. Maybe like that's just an example, but for you, there might be some truth around something or some path that you're on, or maybe you're pursuing a love that you realize, you know what? Not so much. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> right? Or for some of you, this could be someone from your past, as far as love goes, where you're like, Oh my gosh. And you suddenly realize I was in love with that person. I was afraid to say I was in love. The circumstances were not good. There was too much attention or, you know, that person wasn't paying attention to me or <laughs> what have you and getting honest with your feelings. So it's going to be different for everybody, but because we have Archangel Shamuel here and Uriel, that's passion and love y'all. Okay. Like I can't just sit here and do this reading and not point that out. <laughs> okay. So see the magic in connections with one another and the magic in love. And that can be a love of anything. You don't have to be in a partnership. Okay. What is something that opens your heart? Now, open the door. Let's go back to that. That is talking about creating your own opportunities. But ask for guidance first and then flow in the direction where you're being guided. And then start doing the work from there. So you don't want to just overthink it, overanalyze it from the third dimensional ego consciousness. And then go off and try to study a subject or what have you. Only find out that you've wasted your energy because now you don't even want to do that anymore, <laughs> right? So see where you're being guided. See where the flow is and let that be your focus, all right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.